everybody. All right, it is Saturday. I have recently gotten back from running around all over with my daughter, and it was a very successful trip. We went several places. We went to SR Harris. We went to the Unique, which is a thrift store. We went to Hobby Lobby. We went to Savers, which is another thrift store. And I think <coughs> that was it except for the pet shop. But um, let's start with the first things first. First I went to Hobby Lobby. And most everything I got is, um, almost everything is for making journals. But there are a few things that aren't. So I was able to find camping stickers for our vacation next week. Super excited about that. So I got all kinds. And then I got these for my journals because I like to make my little transparencies from this set. This is such a cute set. So that's that. Um, oh yeah, what else did I get? More journal supplies. I got some seam binding because I use that to um, for the ties for my journals to keep them shut. So I got a brown and a dark blue. I kind of sticking with browns, blues, and greens um, for the most part for my colors. Um, then I got some, the ribbons were all 50% off, so I was just like super excited. So I got this one, and I got that one, isn't that pretty? And this one, I got some brick brac. I'm gonna have to tea stain it because I could only get white everywhere I went, I could only get white. So I will be tea staining that. And I've been dying to get these. I see these leaf ones all the time. And I finally found it. So it was super cool to get 50% off on those. Um, I got a new um, Distress Oxide frayed burlap to go with my collection of Distress inks. So I was happy to get that one. Got some thread. This is just a heavy duty thread. It's a little thicker. Um, and I got some floss to tie my inserts into the covers. So I wanted to get more neutral colors. So I caught kind of a gray and a kind of a tan color. And I got some hemp cord. This is really cool. I want to take some of this stuff off because I plan to use uh, for decorating my journal today. I want to use some of these things. Um, so if I take off some of this stuff, I can put them in my journal, which is always fun. So yeah, some hemp cord. Um, this is also good for like tags and stuff. I just like to try and be use natural stuff as much as I can. And then I was able to pick up, this is the first time I've actually been able to find these um, bulldog clips at the Tim Holtz ones at a store. I've had so much trouble finding these things, so I was pretty happy about that. So I got that. Um, okay, so that was Hobby Lobby. Then we went to SR Harris and I got oh so many trims and stuff. I'm so happy that I went there because I really got some cute stuff. They have such good prices too. So I bought um, a yard of this lace. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I bought two yards of this lace. So this one looks like that, which is actually great because you can I could cut these apart. Um, I got a yard of this lace. So I just tried to find things that would look really good for making junk journals. And I got a yard of this lace. And I tried to get a green like this, but they didn't have the color green that I wanted, but I got the blue, so you know, I can't can't complain. Um, then I got, these things were all a dollar each. 
Uh, they just have bins full of scrap things. And I was just thinking how pretty this would be in a journal. I mean, there's this gorgeous ribbon. I mean, it could even be like if you wrapped it around a journal to like keep your journal closed. That would totally be so cool. Like if you had it, I never even thought of that. Like you could use it as the wrap and then you could tie your journal, like bring some string up here and you could tie your journal shut. Oh my goodness. <laughs> There's an idea. Um, so all these were a dollar each. So this, and there was a lot more of this, so I could totally go and get some more. This was a dollar. Isn't this cool? I love this. It's like a butterfly. There. It is so cool. Okay, and another thing, this was a dollar. They just have the coolest stuff, you know? This was also a um, dollar. It's got some fuzzy stuff in the middle to give it some bulk. This was a dollar. Love this one. Isn't that cool? Just love it. And this was a dollar as well. And then <clears throat> I got these guys were 50 cents each. So I got four of these little green flowers and two white butterflies. So that was another find there. Let me just put them in here for now. Till I find a home for them. And then I got um, these buttons. These are the buttons I got. Um, actually, that little plastic thing I tossed would be perfect. Let me show you the buttons. Some of these will be used for charms, for hanging off my journals. But on um, this journal that I made, that I sold, I wanted to find more of these. And S.R. Harris is where I got them. And S.R. Harris has this giant bin of buttons. So I dug through and I found one, two, three, four more of those. And then I found little ones. Look at. And those could be charms hanging off the side. You just string them through that. So one, two, three, four. And all the buttons were like 10 cents a piece. Um, oh, I got five of those big ones. Awesome. And then I got these little, these also I want to use for charms. They're just little flower buttons. And I loved this one. This one was really unique. And here's another one. And here's another one. And I thought they would make such great little charms. And here's a, another sunflower, but a silver. And then I got these. Those will be great charms to hang off. And then I got these buttons. The metal buttons were a little more. I don't remember how much, but um, I only had like five metal buttons total, so. But here's the other buttons I got. And then these white ones. I thought it would be easy to put like a brad in there and fasten it to a page. And then this one, I love this one. It's so adorable. Okay, so those were the buttons. I'll put those there. So that was S.R. Harris. A um, couple of thrift stores. So I got a bunch of stuff. Oh, and I got this at S.R. Harris. I found some cream colored. So I have this white, which I'll tea stain, but I did find some cream colored at S.R. Harris. So that's good. Now I went to the book, uh, the Bookum used book sale in, a, in our town, city Bloomington. Huge one every year. People donate tons and tons of books, like thousands and thousands of books, and then they sell them. So I paid two dollars a piece for six vintage books. So let me show you what I got. My daughter was with me, so she helped me pick some out. But this is called Our Amazing Birds. And this is a 1951 book. And look at, it's black and white pictures of birds. It, 
it's a, like this is amazing. Isn't it beautiful? I don't know what this is doing in there. This is a postcard from Florida, a litho by Robinsons. I wonder what year this was done. Three cent stamp, so you can imagine. Oh my gosh, isn't that funny? I never know what you're gonna find. But oh man, I love this. I love the pictures. I just think it's amazing. I love the black and white so much. Um, let's see if they say who illustrated. 102 paintings in white and black by Don R. Eckleberry. Cool. So cool. I love this book. I got this one, A Guide to the Trees. And this one is a 1925 book so it is just cool look at it I love this book I love it I just it's so great and now the next four books are going to be gutted for journals so we found this one hillbilly doctor but look at the I can easily cover this up and then look at the binding, how pretty, and then this. I mean, wow. Don't have to hardly do anything. And this is, look at how yellowed this is. <laughs> and this book is 1940. So cute. Um, then this one, this is a Trixie Belden, but the red and the house. It's this cool, a mansion. <laughs> and look at, look at the cover, this part. Isn't that great? And this one is 1948. And I thought I saw a picture in here. Yeah, there's some illustrations. Then we found these two books that have decorative covers on them. They're the exact same. Um, this is, they're by Kathleen Norris, and the Angel in the House, and Secondhand Wife. There's nothing on the back. But the covers are so cool. And um, I love it. I don't think there's any pictures. This is dated, don't you just love the yellowing? 1933. And this one, and look at, they've got like, isn't that the best thing ever? This one is dated 1931. So I thought, wow, this is so cool. So those I got $2 each. Then um, Savers and Unique. Let me do Unique first. Okay, so Unique, I got a few things. I got Heavy Duty Weight Mixed Paper at Savers. I mean, not Unique. So I thought I would try pressing, doing the eco dyeing with this paper maybe. That was my thought. Then um, I got this book. Nope, not this book. Can't, can't see it, sorry guys. <laughs> I got this. And this is, um, I think this will be the perfect box for, I hate their stickers, honestly. Just try and get all this junk off of here. I'm thinking this will be great for storing the washi that I want to use um, for journaling. Because see how big it is? It's super deep. So I think it will be perfect for that washi. I needed something for my washi that would work better. Then the other thing I got at Savers was this. Now when I bought this it had uh, more things than this. It actually had um, hearing aid batteries along in this package with these. These are envelopes. So I paid $2.99 and I, didn't, I thought that was pretty good but look at these envelopes. Now, let's see if I can take this price thing off of here. But these are so cool. Let me just take it off so you can see. Look at this. 
Isn't that the best thing ever? I'm totally decorating these for journals. I have no idea what these would have been used for. But I think they're super cool. All right. Um, I got two books. So I got this North American Game Birds and Mammals just because I liked the pictures. Um, now I can't find any there because they're drawn. Look at, they're really nice, really nice black and white pictures. I really, really like them. So that, I thought that was a really good deal. Then I got this book. Look at this. It's beautiful. Look. And here. Isn't that just gorgeous? And um, look at the pictures. This book is, it's lithographs. 1946 by, and it's, so darn cute. She is a little like she's like a Mrs. Hickory, so she's a hickory nut. And uh, look at that. There's a squirrel. <laughs> this is so fantastic. Oh my gosh, it's so fantastic. So many cute, adorable pictures in here. I mean, so much cuteness. It's just amazing. Oh, the squirrel took her head. Oh my goodness. Uh, oh, but it looks like a hickory tree grew. That's pretty cool. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love it. I just love it. Okay, so the other things I found at Saver was this um, Teacher's Daily Notebook. And I thought, well, there's even some writing, but she just used it for a little bit, like right here. And then look, all these pages. I can distress them or tea stain them, and they'll be just perfect to go in the journals. It's perfect very cool book. The other things I got, I wanted reinforced holes. So I paid $1.50 and I got a whole bag of these things. So I was happy about that and I hope they're paper. Oh, they're clear. Um, well, we'll see if I can tea stain them. Maybe I can even if they're clear. You never know, right? So we'll see. They're all clear. But I'm going to see if I can at least um, tea stain them so that they'll work. That's my idea. Or distress them. I'm not going to use tea. I'm just going to use distress ink. Um, I found all these packages of bindings, bias tape. And I do like to use this stuff. Um, and I wanted to see what other treasures are in here because I know that there's more treasures in these because you can't see everything. So I'm just going to pull off those tags and we're going to open these and see what we ended up with. I ended up with a bunch. Super excited about this. So let's see what we ended up with. All right, dump it out, dump it out, and let's see. Seam binding first. We have red, oops. We have purple, we have white, we have a dark blue, oh, and we have a great green. So that, that's good news. And we've got Midi braid, two packages. I've got some jumbo rickrack. So 
I will also be dyeing that. And there's some green. And then I got black lace, hem tape, and uh, kind of a purplish plum, actually, hem tape. So that's good. Those are pretty good finds, I think. Oops, I got little pieces of paper everywhere. Plastic bag everywhere. My husband was so nice and vacuumed all my little paper bits. He's like, you track paper all over the entire house. I, I do. Okay, then I got this, and I'm like, oh my gosh, look at this package. There's like a million things in here, and I don't even know what it all is, but I have to look. I have to buy it for $3. So, black seam binding, black lace, blue lace, brown lace, all this hem facing is great. Black seam binding, here's some more black twill tape, and this is um, some kind of hem facing. This is an old, this is really old, look at this. Yeah, cool. It's actually pretty cool. And I love this box. Look at this old box. Okay, then look at these little treasures. Look at this as a lace of some kind or a ribbon of some kind. This is lace. And so is this piece right here. Look at this one. so cute and a tiny bit of eyelet lace I could not find any eyelet lace anywhere which I was quite disappointed in because I absolutely love the eyelet lace and I looked at HR Harris I thought oh maybe they'll have it and they didn't have it either and it really is one of my favorite things so I've just got a tiny bit in here and then um, I got this piece. <laughs> I use scotch tape on these little pieces. It's so funny. This piece of lace. Isn't that beautiful? It's just a little old piece of lace. And this is amazing. Look at this. This is ribbon. Look at that. This I think is pretty old. I think it's pretty old. It's really pretty. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful and I really don't want this stick pin on it. Okay, then I got buttons. I can't even begin to tell you all the wonderful buttons that are in here. Um, let's cut some of this off so I can at least show you some of the buttons. And I paid $2.99, so $3 for all these buttons. Like there's some cloth covered buttons, but then there's all kinds of cool, old, some really old ones in here. And these are all stuck together, it's kind of funny. But yeah, I mean, just all kinds of buttons. I mean, look at this. It's just interesting, you know? Even if I find a few things I can use, um, I'll be quite happy. So yeah, I always like getting interesting buttons. That's always fun. Um, and I got this. I thought this was actually a really good deal. Because um, I can use this in my journaling, my journals. It's a table runner. But look at the, look what it is. It's oak leaves and acorns. Isn't that great? So I thought, wow, that's a really good find for cutting up stuff can totally cut it up. One last thing. These are all cards and I got it for two of the cards. Not for all of them because some of them I don't care about. <laughs> so I have these oversized cards which I thought would be kind of cool to distress and use them in the journals. So this totally was a good deal. 
Um, Hello Kitty, I can give that to my da granddaughter and TV trivia. This is not my type of thing. Yeah, this is totally, this just ended up being there. Maybe there's something I can do to like make these into something. I'll give this to my granddaughter. This, I wanted this so bad. These are mini playing cards. So look, they're just little bitty cards and they're so cute. And I can distress them and totally put them in my journals. Just look at that. I could distress it and then put like a piece of coffee dyed paper or something on the back. It would be so cute, oh my gosh. So that was all my big haul today. I think I did pretty good. I'm pretty excited about everything that I found. It was um, quite a lot. So all I gotta do is tea, get these babies stained up so that they're, let me just save one of these paper things for my journal. So there's a big fat one, and this one, I just love being able to find this um, sort of thing. This one is uh, thinner, as you can see. And then this one is super thin. I wanted beige so bad. I was just disappointed I couldn't I couldn't find the color that I wanted. But at least I have this and I can just boil up some tea and throw this in and I will have my tea stained thingamajigs. Yeah, so I'm just gonna like pull the cardboard off because there's no reason for it to be on the board. And go stain that, and the cream colored one is fine. I'm just gonna leave that, because that can be cream colored. And now I have all my journaling stuff for the day. We went to IHOP for breakfast. But yeah, I'm, I'm super happy. I feel like it was a very, very productive day. And, um, I'm glad that that all worked out. So I hope you enjoyed seeing the treasures I found. I'm always excited about treasures. <laughs> so that was fun. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope you're having a good weekend. Bye.